Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina on another gorgeous late fall, getting close to winter day. Sun is shining, sky is blue, it's a crisp cold morning. Well, late morning, getting close to afternoon. All right, time for today's shave soap and shave brush review. I have two products for today. The first is going to be the Spanish Holiday. This is Katie's Bubbles. This is the luxury soap line. The scent is described as sweetened rosewood with hints of coriander and musk. And let me just show you what it looks like in the container. It is a relatively hard, soft soap. You can certainly indent it. It's not a hard soap, but it's definitely on the very hard side of the soft soaps. Um, it has a glorious smell. <sighs> the, scent, the scent is, it's like a, a sweet, woodsy incense scent with a bit of sort of warmth from the, from the musk. I don't get any coriander from it, but the, uh, the scent of the rosewood, the sweetened rosewood is just a, a beautiful note. There's a bit of warmth there from the musk and just uh, just a beautiful scent. Scent strength is pretty strong and it remains strong throughout the shave. We'll, we'll go through that as we, uh, as we lather it up. I have some, of course, pressed into the Captain's Choice uh, loading bowl. This is a vegan soap, by the way. I believe this is a, it's coconut oil, shea butter, jojoba oil, and glycerin are sort of the other four standout ingredients there. Okay, today's brush was very kindly uh, offered to me by Jason Rudman who said, please try it, and if you like it, you're welcome to keep it. Well, Jason, I have bad news for you. I like it, and I'm gonna keep it. It is a faux horsehair knot from AP Shave Co., I believe, in Canada. You can find them on Etsy. It is a uh, very standard whip dog handle. Uh, the brush is obviously a synthetic brush. Beautiful color, love the way it looks. Very soft tips. A nice bit of backbone, actually. It's, it, if this is, this is a pretty close mimic to horsehair, but for me, without the scratchiness of the one horsehair brush I have. So this has been working out very well all week. Today's razor is a razor I haven't used for quite some time. I actually did a list of the, the videos I've done, sort of kept track per video what the razor was I used so I can go back and get a feel for something I haven't used in quite some time. And today's razor is going to be the Razor Rock Black Mamba with the Uber Glide coating. Here's the top cap, which as you can see has a center thread post, but no post in the top cap. It just has the uh, the post divots, um, which is a bit of a unique design. It's going to be for today a Rapira Platinum Lux blade. This will be the second shave. Uh, the first four shaves were on a um, Super Iridium. Very very nice shave. Here is the base plate. As you can see, the two uh, the two posts are in the base plate there. So let me just put that on. Fits very nicely. Fit and finish on the razor head is, is, you know, as always, is very nice. I am going to include one of these small plastic M5 washers. This is the Icon uh, bamboo handle that uh, was paired with the Razor Rock, the Black Mamba head. Um, I know for a particular person, K. Theodore, I believe, that this, in terms of the aesthetics, is not your favorite, but you're right, in terms of the ergonomics, handle is really, really well done. No overhang on the razor head, which for me always is a big plus. Well, that's not true. There is a tiny, tiny bit of overhang, but really nothing to, nothing to worry about. Okay, let me wet my face and we'll start lathering up. Yeah, first four shaves on the uh, Super Iridium blade. Very, very smooth up until the last against the grain pass. And then it was just abruptly over. So I switched to, to the uh, to the Rapier, to the Platinum Lux and we'll see how this one goes. First shave was pretty good, but not as smooth as the uh, as a Super Iridium. All right, I scooped out way too much of the soap to use for the week. It happens. All right, I've wet the brush through. I've shaken out most of the water. As you can see, damp but dry. I know that sounds oxymoronic, but it is what it is. Pretty dry, so I'm just gonna dip, uh, just drip a bit of water into the bowl. The soap has been very, very easy to lather and to work with. You just drip a bit of water in there. This is not as thirsty a soap as I thought it might be when I, you know, the first first day or so. Um, you just don't need that wet a brush. You can definitely start off dry and add just a bit of water. That's what I'm gonna do here. Just a few more drips and then uh, start loading. 
start building a ladder on my face. Just a drop or two in the bowl, just so you can see what's starting to happen. A very nice creamy lather starting to build around the uh, around the outside of the uh, the bowl. There we go. You can hear a difference almost immediately. It goes from being a little bit too dry to you know getting close to being properly hydrated. All right, that that's looking pretty good. See, that's already starting to peak a little bit. All right, let me just drip a bit of water onto the brush. Wet my face again. This is the left-handed, one-handed face winning technique. Here we go. Immediately. That was just actually a piece of soap that was stuck in the brush. And you can see the lather is already starting to form a very nice creamy dense layer, but it is still a little too dry. But I hope you can sort of hear how, I don't know, it's hard to describe really. There is already a particular sound to the way the brush is moving through the soap to let you know that it is very close to having enough water in it. It doesn't sound sort of airy or puffy, but you can see that's a little still, a little too sticky. So add a bit of water. And that will probably be enough right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this soap has been a real joy to use all week. I've used one of their soaps before the LPL, I think it's La Piment de la Vie, which was probably a year and a half or two years ago, right? Which is just a sample. Beautiful scent on that as well. I think this lather is better than that original version of the soap. Creamy, slick, very easy to build. Pretty impressive. Um, I actually got this soap. I won this soap as part of a raffle at the uh, at the uh, North Carolina's Wet Shavers meetup. Um, Chris Collin was kind enough to pass up. He had two different ones to choose from. My number came up and I picked the uh, Spanish Holiday. This, the scent sounded really good. The name sort of caught my fancy. Okay, here we go. The Black Mamba with the Uber Glide Icon Bamboo Style Handle with the Rapier Platinum Lux Blade on its second use. As always for these Sunday shaves, it's just over two days worth of growth. Soap strength with a scent strength in the soap, still really good. Nice and slick. Yeah, really an excellent uh, sort of vegan option. Well, not sort of, it is a vegan option. So far, the blade is doing pretty well in here. I definitely think that the uh, that the Mamba benefits from the sharper blades. I mean, all blades are sharp, but you know what I mean. I would imagine that a silver blue would do very nicely in here. Lovely slickness to the soap. Just really easy, all around, very good performance. All right, let's rinse. Now notice I've switched to the single-handed, right-handed. Very important to use your right hand when rinsing on the even-numbered passes. 
All right, I'm gonna wet the brush just a little bit. Mm. Yeah, a combination of this horsehair brush, faux horsehair, and the soap. Wonderful face feel while lathering up, just slick, very soft, comfortable feel. No need to use any kind of pressure. This knot does splay pretty easily, but it's got a nice bit of a nice bit of backbone to it, and for the painting strokes, holds together very easily. All around, great option. And like I said, I'm sorry, Jason Rudman, but you know you did offer it, and I'm going to be very grateful to accept it. So. I'm sorry if you're gonna miss it, but, well, that's what happens. All right, pass number two. This is the across the grain. Oop, almost did it wrong. Oh, that was close. Yeah, really very nice slickness on this soap. Yeah, beautiful. And this is a very good razor and it works pretty well for me, but I don't think in the end scheme of things it's gonna knock either the baby smooth or the stealth slant off uh, off its position for these. If I had to choose between those three razors, this would probably still come in number three, which given the competition is not bad at all. Just watch the rasp there. This razor is definitely got a good bit of uh, you know audible feedback, and that rasp sometimes leads to uh, you know additional pressure. To try to sort of you know press through it, try to resist the temptation there. Here is where the lack of an overhang of the blade comes in. Because I can really try to get into that particular corner, which is one of the hardest spots for me to shave, just so the way the hair grows is very flat in that direction. Going against the grain there is really kind of a pain. Oh my God, so far so good, so good. All right, let's rinse again. Remember, this is the odd pass, so now in this case, because it's the third, it's very important, alternate. Left, right, top to bottom, rinse. Absolutely critical, really a critical part of every great shave. Okay, there is plenty of soap. Now with a lot of brushes, you're gonna see soaps and sort of press down into the knot. So all you do is just sort of use your finger and just pull up and you can see how beautiful, shiny, sort of creamy that lather is. I may need to uh, load a little bit more, but we'll see. No breakdown or dissipation of the lather. Scent is a little bit lighter than when you start off the shave. But still there. Let me just pull up a little bit more. And now just gently paint it on. There we go. All 
right, pass number three, the against the grain pass. All right, as always, pull my ear, keep the skin tight, but not too tight. Pulling down here to sort of get in again tight, but not too tight. Repair is definitely a lot smoother today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was not rough, but definitely not as smooth as the uh, Super Iridium started off, but this has been going very well. Just mixing up the directions of the strokes there a little bit. Accommodate the fact that the hair does not grow in a simple straight pattern. Soap is really doing an excellent job here. Very, very slick, easy to use, nice and protective. Making for scheme of things, really kind of an effortless shave. And speaking of effortless shades, one another another sort of second shout out to Jason Rubin, who very kindly gifted two low end razors, straight razors, to a colleague of mine at work who was really struggling with the razor that he bought online, which he really simply couldn't get sharp on his own. Jason obviously knows how to hone straight razors. Provided two of these razors that were really ready, really shave ready. And uh, I think my colleague Big Ben H is uh, doing much better now with those straight razor shades. As always, people's generosity. Very humbling. Okay, that's it. Let me just uh, do a quick feel, see how we're doing. Now, again, I want to demonstrate an extremely advanced rinsing technique. If you're a new wet shaver, okay, go ahead and try it and see what happens. Both hands, the light dimple technique, followed by left, right, two, one, one. Okay, I hope you caught that. That was a left, right, two, one, one has to be preceded by the dimpling technique, which I believe was a, may have been an Armenian improvement on the original technique from the Romanians or the Latvians. You know, I just don't remember. There's a very sort of troubled history about face rinsing in the wet shaving world. Anyway, okay. Well, gentlemen, ladies, Ah, that was another glorious shave. I'm gonna rinse off again just a little bit more. This soap has a nice, is actually easy to rinse, but also leaves behind a very nice, thin, kind of residual layer of slickness. Let me go ahead and towel off. Wow, that is a very, very nice clean shave. Yeah, that razor did very well. That uh, second day in the repair Lux, much better than uh, much better than yesterday. Okay, now we're gonna close it out. We're gonna go with another scent that I love. I only I only paired this not because they somehow go together very well, because I just wanted to use l'orange, the l'orange noir from Fine. Just 
a, just a glorious scent. I just really liked it and I thought, you know what? Let's go for it. The regulator on that is a little bit big. So what seems like too much comes out, but then once you put it on, you realize that's really not possible. There's no way that too much comes out of that bottle. Brief hit of the alcohol, nice cooling from the menthol. Ah, oh, the scent, just beautiful. Wow. Well, as always, these shaves end with a deep sigh of satisfaction at a job well done and a job enjoyed. All right, let's cover today's products again because we're gonna stop right there. There's no need to go on. Today's shaving soap is Spanish Holiday from Katie's Bubbles. This is the luxury shaving soap version of the formula, a vegan formula. The scent, sweetened rosewood and hints of coriander and musk. A beautiful sort of light, sweet, woodsy, incense -y style scent. Um, I don't get really much of the coriander, but uh, in, terms of the, in terms of the musk, there's kind of a bit of a, bit of a warm scent at the bottom of that. Um, let me just show you the, uh, the tub again. I, I scooped out, I scooped out too much, but what are you gonna do? Like I said, bit of a hard, bit of a hard soap. Very, very easy to work with. Lathers immediately, no issues in terms of building a lather. Very slick, protective, easy to use, no lather dissipation. Really an excellent product. And the scent, well, the scent is, uh, scent is just absolutely lovely. So, top notch, really enjoyed that. Very, very happy to win that in the raffle. And very glad that I chose it. Today's razor is the Black Mamba from Razor Rock with the Uber Glide coating with the Icon Bamboo handle. Generally speaking, I get very good shaves out of this, but it definitely requires a sharper blade than not. Um, I would imagine that it's silver blue, I think it's gonna do quite well in this. I may use this for another week um, because the next week is gonna be broken up a bit because of uh, Thanksgiving travel. So I may stick with that for another, uh, another couple days. Really some excellent shaves this week and I'm very glad to have brought it out um, from its resting place in the Borderlands 2 Loot Crate. Today's brush is the Faux Horsehair from AP Shave Co. with a uh, whip dog, uh, just a really standard style whip dog handle. Quite a surprising brush actually. Really beautiful face feel, soft tips, lots of backbone, zero scritch obviously. Very, very easy to use and like all uh, synthetic brushes, very easy to maintain. And I really, really like the, uh, the color, sort of the, um, the shading of the brush. Looks, looks really good, very, very nicely done. It doesn't look quite so synthetic as some of the original, uh, original um, well, synthetic brushes. Okay, let's not forget, even though we literally just used it a moment ago, L'Orange Noir from Fine. Straight up alcohol, scent, menthol. Just such a simple, straightforward, beautiful aftershave. Love using it, smells great, um, feels good, nice, Really nice balance of the alcohol hit and the menthol, and then just the scent just tops it all off. Ah, just glorious. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna call it quits right there. I feel fantastic. My shave went really well. My skin feels really good. Post-shave conditioning on that soap is really quite nice. I smell great. That's it, it's time to stop right there. Say thank you again so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate the time you take to watch these videos. As always, of course, please feel free to leave comment or question against this video or any previous video. I'll try to get back to those as quickly as I can. And until next time, goodbye.